and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand a very important concept of deadlock in operating systems in a simple manner with the help of some real life examples. So let us understand deadlock by a real life example. You can't get a job without experience and experience can only come when you do some job. So here we end up in a deadlock. Let's see a formal definition of deadlock. So deadlock is a situation where a set of processes are blocked because each process is holding a resource and waiting for another resource acquired by some other process. Let us understand it with the help of an example. So in this example, process 1 is waiting for resource Y, but it is assigned to process 2. Process 2 is not getting completed because it requires resource X, which is assigned to process 1, ending up in a deadlock situation. Let's understand deadlock with one more real life example of a wrongly managed school. The school never performs good in board exams. Almost all the students get failed. When the principal is asked why, his straightforward answer is that teachers doesn't teach well. When the teachers were asked about why the students were getting failed, they said that they were not given their wages. Then again, when the principal was asked why they are not giving the wages, he replies that parents don't pay the fees and he does not have the funds to give the pay to the teachers. The parents give the reason that school does not provide enough facilities, but obviously principal cannot provide facilities unless the fees is paid, which is depicted in this diagram. And parents are not ready to pay the fees until facilities are enhanced in the school. So here we end up in a deadlock situation and there is not much we can do for the school. In the previous example, we saw a deadlock between only two processes, namely school and parents. But a real operating system deadlock can be complex and it usually involves multiple processes and resources. So now we are going to study four necessary conditions for a deadlock to happen. So they are mutual exclusion, hold and wait, no preemption and circular wait. Let's see them all one by one. So let's understand. Mutual exclusion. If some resources are non-shareable, which means that only a single process can use it. For example, here process 1 can use resource 1 and no other process can use resource 1. If this is not the case, then process cannot be stopped from using a resource when they require it. For example, full screen processes in our computer cannot be used by two apps simultaneously. So let's understand. Hold and wait now. If a process holds some resource and waits for some other resource, then the hold and wait is occurred. If this is not the case, then the cycle of deadlock, which we saw in the first diagram, will not get completed and no deadlock will occur. The above school example is a classic example of hold and wait. As the school holds the facilities and parents hold the resources, school needs the resources and parents need the facilities. Hence, creating a hold and wait situation. Now let's understand the third condition of no preemption. A resource cannot be taken from a process unless the process releases the resource. If preemption was allowed, deadlock would never occur because then there would have been no process able to hold a resource for a long amount of time. For example, if your speaker is running an audio and after some time you click on some another audio, it starts playing it. But in case, if no preemption was allowed, we would have to wait for the first audio to end. It was on an infinite loop. We will end up in a deadlock. So let's understand the last condition, circular wait. A set of processes are waiting for each other in a circular form, then circular wait happens. For example, if we extend the first example to multiple processes and resources waiting for each other's held resources. In a circular fashion, we will end up in a circular weight condition. So, hope you understood the concept of deadlock in operating system. Please don't forget to subscribe to Geeks for Geeks YouTube channel and click on the bell icon.